Declaration of Principle Number 4 states, we believe in personal responsibility and that we create our own happiness or unhappiness as we live in harmony or discord with natural, physical, and spiritual laws. Boy, that's a mouthful. But basically what it's saying is, and it's very core, we as souls have free will. Would you agree? Most religions, all religions talk about that. Even the spirit world, when, when I sit in communication with them, they tell us that. So we understand that we each have personal responsibility. So when we act in ways that are ungodly or unkind, unloving, we need to go to the person, the place, even the thing that we might have mistreated, right? Abused, been harsh to. We need to take it upon ourselves with our sole responsibility to make things right. We want to make sure that we ask for uh, their forgiveness, that we do what we can to make things better, even adding more value than we originally attended because we're personally responsible. We don't believe in the principle. We do not teach in spiritualism and metaphysics uh, the savior principle, that there was someone who uh, had to be strung up on a cross and nailed to the cross and died and bled for us. That's not a principle we teach because we recognize that we as souls are responsible for our actions, our thoughts, our words, our actions. So we have to make things right. We do not need to be going to a priest or a preacher or a minister, an imam, a rabbi, whomever, to ask God to forgive us of our sins. That's not how it works. You see, we as souls are divine expressions of God. We understand that. And so our soul is responsible. When we cross into the spirit world of life, our soul looks back at its life. Kevin, it will ask, Kevin, did you, what did you do for humanity? How did you treat yourself? Did you learn any lessons? What did you do about that situation where you took advantage of someone or something or a company or you abused your power, your situation? And so we are personally responsible. We need to go in, in, in contemplation, prayer, and meditation and connect with that divine source, that God spark within, connecting in the higher mind. And we say, divine loving Father, Mother, God, divine Spirit, loving force of nature, whatever, however you wish to, to approach that, that creative, expressive, infinite intelligence, and just pour your heart out not in a begging way, but in a way that, that affirms your divinity, the perfection of your soul, and just ask for strength, inspiration, guidance. Ask to be shown the lesson of that troubling situation or to be given a new opportunity. But especially if we have done something physically to another person or, or verbally in some way, we need to go and make make that right. We need to go knock on their door, pick up the phone. It's not about a text message or an email. We need to take the high road and we need to make things right. That's how a soul evolves. And that's what it means to be personally res responsible in life. Make sense? Now, with that being known, let's jump into declaration of principle number five. So click the next video and I'll see you there.